very, we are all very excited to be here today. I would hope we keep looking for the answers to those really tough questions. Are we alone? Internal cam check is a go. Our craft was heading for a moon of Jupiter, known as Europa. We are clear of Jupiter's orbit. Pitching for power descent. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Here we go. I can't believe I'm here. Come back to the ship now. I want to see if it's reacting to my lights. I'm going to turn them off. We got a problem. It's everywhere. Close them off. I thought I was trying to do something great for mankind. Get you out of this. Talk to me. Forgive me. I want to go to Mars. I wrote those words when I was 12 years old. Mars is a planet ready for life. In 20 hours, six astronauts will travel to Mars, not to visit, but to live there. Zero gravity. It's uncharted territory. The heart will simply not have the strength in the Earth's gravity. Bones will be brittle. He wouldn't even survive the trip back to Earth. So the child remains classified on Mars? Yes. Gardner is the 16-year-old boy. He's met less than 15 people in his life. Well, if no one knows I exist, I'm raised by scientists. He knows about Earth. Hey, Tulsa. I'm out of here the second I turn 18. I just wish I could go with you. And he knows it's all happening without him. Talking in T minus one minute. I've got so many questions about Mars. Not as many as I have about Earth. Can I stay? They need to do more tests. Nothing's changed. I want to be out there. There's been a breach. We need teams from the airport. Amtrak station. They can't survive. How do we know he's going to see her? Because she's the only person he knows on Earth, and he's a romantic. Hey, Tulsa. Tell me where you're really from. Mars. Whoa! What is that? It's just a horse. What's your favorite thing about her? Rain. Come, come with me now. No. This is my life. Get in. We're taking off. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Didn't you blurt that out just like that? Why wouldn't I? His heart can't handle our gravity. You wasn't mine. He's running out of time. I was scared I wouldn't know how to be human. You made me human. What's your favorite thing about Earth? You are Gardner. So what are you going to do this evening? I don't know. I was thinking tonight might be my last night anyway. Hi, Rob. I'm Mike. And it's great to finally meet you. I like, listen to space. What I do. You can see the universe in a completely different way. You get to give up more of the secrets. <laughs> What's going on? I think I found something. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Mike, what is this? Dave, it's Mike Webster. We got a target signal here. Hearing anything yet? Well, then scan the band. Look, Mike, I've checked. There's nothing. Are we the only ones getting this? I don't see how that's possible. We can't ignore this. We gotta stay with it. Okay, guys, separate the antennas and spread out. Let's do this. You have no idea. No idea what's going on here. We're getting some serious spikes here, guys. Hold your position, Roy. We're losing the signal. I'll help you if I can. But it's really all on you. But we don't have a choice. We've got to do something. It's the choice you make right now that counts. You... To 
greatest discovery in the history of mankind. Hold on! Hold on! Alright, right! Run, my friend! What are you thinking about? I do what I do because of my dad. He was a hero. He gave his life for the pursuit of knowledge. Control, you're getting that over. It's crazy out there. There's fires everywhere and plane crashes. They're calling it a search. We have some highly classified information. What can you tell us about the Lima project? Its objective was to search for advanced extraterrestrial life. The ship disappeared approximately 16 years into the mission. And the commander was? He was my father, sir. This might come as quite a shock to you. Your father was experimenting with a highly classified material that could threaten our entire solar system. All life would be destroyed. We're counting on you to find out what's happening out there. Please begin your psychological evaluation. As best you can, please describe your current mental and emotional state. I'm feeling good. Ready to do my job to the best of my abilities. I remain fully committed to the lawful completion of the mission. If necessary, I will destroy the project in its entirety. The Earth put its hopes in him, and now it's fate. It's on me. We have a job to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you asking me on a date? We're on a date. Very nice. Took you long enough to ask. So, why did you give up your life on Earth? We boarded the Avalon with a destination. 120 years hibernation means we'll wake up in a new century on a new planet. But a year ago, everything changed. Do you know what's going on? Nobody else is awake. I think something went wrong with the hibernation pods. Something's wrong. Something big. This ship is gonna go. I have to do this. No! You die, I die! Something I have to tell you. There's a reason we woke up early. This is Dr. David Jordan. Our mission is to intercept a research pod from Mars. I see it. This could be a major scientific breakthrough. We're looking at the first proof of life. That's beautiful. Look how fast it's growing. How smart is this thing? These creatures wiped out Mars. Millions of years ago. If we let it get to Earth... We'll risk all human life. Let's kill the thing. What is the primal instinct of any life form? To survive. We won't survive re-entry. But it could. First man to walk on the moon. We're gonna have to start from scratch. Only after we master these tasks do we consider trying to land on the moon. Neil, if this flight is successful, you'll go down in history. What kind of thoughts do you have about that? We're planning on the flight being successful. It'll go up like a half kiloton A-bomb if it blows. There are risks, but we have every intention of coming back. Somebody got a Swiss Army knife? A Swiss Army knife? Are you kidding me? Here we go. Do you question whether the program's worth the cost, in money and in life? Space exploration changes your perception, and it allows us to see things that we should have seen a long time ago. 
You're a bunch of boys. You don't have anything under control. Mission abort. Repeat. Mission abort. Explorer, this is Kowalski confirming visual contact with debris. Debris is from a BSE sat. Petra. Repeat. I have a record. Dr. Stone requesting faster transport. We have to go. We have to go, go, go. Explorer, do you copy? Explorer, permission to retrieve Dr. Stone. You're go for Look, we need to get the hell out of here. Some help there, man. No, don't wait for us. Stop. Man down. Man down. Man down. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Ready? Now you can either accept that, or you can get to work. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates. And to NASA. And to the entire world. But I'm still alive. Surprise. Here's the rub. It's gonna be four years for another mission to reach me. So I gotta make water and grow food on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, then none of this matters anyway. I've got an incoming message. Mein Gott. <laughs> In your face, Neil Armstrong. He's 50 million miles away from home. He's totally alone. What the hell is he thinking right now? I am the greatest botanist on this planet. It's bigger than one person. No. It's not. NASA rejected the mission. So if we do this? We're talking mutiny. If anything goes wrong, we die. No matter what happens, Tell the world, tell my family, that I never stop fighting to make it home. You're a well-educated man, Coop, and a trained pilot. And an engineer. The world doesn't need any more engineers. We didn't run out of planes and television sets. We ran out of food. Dad, why did you need me after something that's bad? Oh, well, we didn't. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. It means that whatever can happen will happen. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. You have no idea when you're coming back. We must reach far beyond our own lifespans. We must confront the reality of interstellar travel. Murph, I love you forever.